Hello! Welcome back to my Hero Wars Let's Play. We're still in the spooky festival. Let's see, XP potions. Armor glyphs. Support hero skill. Yeah, all right, I guess we could do Nebula. That's enough here. Okay, now we'll do Morgan. All right, she was a support. I could have just did Morgan. Could have just did Morgan for all of it, my guess. She's actually support. It just defaulted to Nebula for some reason. Adventure mode. All right, let's grab these. Ooh, that's a lot of potions for Titans. Cool. All right, let's see, we got some. All right. Okay, let's see who still needs soul farming today. Soul farming. Lars does. All right. Let's see. Let's go farm this stuff now. Let's check out the Grand Arena, then we'll do our artifacts and see what other quests we gotta do. Um, we could try that. Put that one there. Put Aurora here, and then put Arachnamai on the bottom. See how that works out. think we're gonna win. Nope. Didn't dodge. Oh, Kark got some damage in. But that's fine. That happens. Um, artifacts. Mm-hmm. Oh, level 121. Shoot, probably should have saved some of those other quests then. Didn't realize it was that close. Probably should have paid attention. But look, it's 6800 to my next level. Like, the levels start coming up way slow now. Alright, well that's fine. Oh, we're out of potions. Like, that's why we don't level up everybody, because uh, you'd totally run out of potions if you tried. Hey, look at that, a Guildmaster present. Oh, wow, we got some Spooky Festival dolls. You got a surprise from your guild base. Spooky Festival has begun. Find out where you can get from the Spooky Festival doll and share your joy. Awesome, so let's open these. Ooh, particles, nice. Okay, let's go do some more farming.
All right, it's not over. Spend my emeralds <laughs> again. Be slow. Remember what happened last time. There we go. Okay, skins. She can't. We don't have any boxes, I doubt. Doubt we have any more boxes. Alright, so skins. Go back to Celeste. Alright, we should probably buy some skill points. Oh, to Serenity. Spooky festival. Alan Chess. We should be able to get that one by the end of this event. Because they did add that extra day so we can actually have the time. We did all of our energy, so... Let's see if we got... Let's go look at pets. See, so we'll probably raid that later. Pets. More potions. Poor Kane just gonna have to sit behind. Let's see what the daily bonuses. I'll take those. I like strength skin stones and uh, healer signias. Love insignias, that's what they're called. Love insignias. Ooh, nice. 50 kindness insignias. That's super that was a super good pull. Not gonna be 125 boss, don't think, but that's fine. Um oh, we should probably go Titan Valley and do all the other stuff too. Do all of our Titan stuff, and then we'll go probably hang out in the Furnace of Souls. Well actually we gotta do our arena fights too. We're about 20 minutes to cut off time, so let's do arena fights as well. We can go do the tower real quick. We have we have some time. We need to kill a few minutes. Then we'll do then we'll do arena, then we'll do furnace of souls. Let's see. Nice. Oh, we're still getting purple items. Maybe they changed it since of when, uh, when I played. Because I was, could have swore you got red items starting at 120. But maybe they, but that was back in 2019, so they probably could have changed it. Wouldn't surprise me. They've changed a lot of things since then, so... But I know you definitely get red items at 130. Nice. 
Ooh, nice. Doing okay on item rolls today. Let's hope that continues. Because I like items. Yeah, I don't really need throwing knives that much. Ooh, nice, we need those. All right, last fight. Yeah, now we did okay on items this time. Well, we opened a couple X chests, but overall we were getting pretty good item pulls, so that's always good. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we'll get that one tomorrow. Boom. Nice. 114. All right, let's look at our arena fights here. We dropped some places. We still get a lot of these defense wins, though. Like, we're. Our team's pretty tough now. We finally have, like, levels to really back ourselves up. Oh, we're the same level as Mati now. Let's see. Put in Sebastian. the Ode to Serenity. Nope. Not quite. He didn't dodge. It's okay, we're still winning. Mm, 
Well, they're higher than me. I don't think we'd be able to get blocks consistently enough, so let's try this. Oh, Rackney just died. Bye-bye. Shield bash for the win. Again, all these weak pets. Like, teams would be more effective with, like, uh, fewer patrons, but more powerful. Like, having violet patrons are more important than having a bunch of blue patrons. Can we beat the Zelmir team yet? Probably not. We'll try it. It's actually Corvus that caused the problems. Corvus and Morgan. Elmir is pretty worthless to them, though. I have no idea why they have Elmir in this team at all. Like, it makes zero sense. He really offers, like, nothing to that team. I guess just to have more clones or something to block Dante's and Arachne type abilities. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense, but I don't know. I just think they'd be better off with, like, just about any other hero. Is just not, he's not doing near enough DPS to even justify a spot. Corvus doing some DPS for them though. Oh, but da da da. Ooh, here's one we can get, I'm pretty sure. I will prey on Dante led teams. Rainbow halo damage. <laughs> Rainbow halo damage. Mojo literally just burned his whole team down. That was hilarious. Rainbow halo right there. It's, Rath, like I said, is the best anti-mage hero in the game. Best anti-physical hero, best anti-mage hero. Said, that's why she's OP. That's why I tell you. She's the best tank of the game. Why you should have her. Larry. Let's see. Cork. Ooh. Jorgen. No oh boy. Man, everything's tough. You. It's 420 and there's only five, four heroes? Yuck. Let's try that old leg team, I guess. This is the weakest one. One I think we have the best chance at, and this is going to be pretty tough with Jorg in there. We're probably going to lose this, but let's try it. We'll die to Jorg and Maya.
Oh no. Just lost Sia. Nope. Kind of what I figured was gonna happen. We we're gonna lose a bunch of people to Maya and Jorgen damage. All that pure damage from Maya just burning our team alive. Look at that. <laughs> wow, they have Alpha Hatred. Like, look at that. Maya just burned my team alive. Just ate us. That's kind of what I figured happened, but uh, we did better than I thought we would. My, my own Maya did some damage, but uh, Albus might be my next patron. And Albus can also be used on Sebastian, too, when I need him. So that's the other uh, thing to think about. Albus is good for um, guild raids and stuff. Like, he has a lot of value. He's one of the better pets. Um, but where are we? We're ranked 30 in Arena. That's actually not too bad at all, though. Especially if it holds... But nothing else to do except our Furnace of Souls, so let's go do that. Um, we can grab these two. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. I love festival coins, gives me lots of particles. <gasps> wow, those are some good pulls. Alright. Speaking of our next pet, we can really put some progress into that with that one. Um, so the buffs today are actually... 300% damage for tanks, so we are going to play this out with Galahad because Galahad can do a whole lot of damage. To battle. We'll feed through the first couple rounds, like the later rounds, so we really have to um, manual it. All right. Now we have to start playing a bit conservatively. Because the fourth round, like, you can time out if you're really not careful. So you just want to be ready. Okay, make sure all the starts charging. And do a bunch of pure damage. Booyah! Okay, just deleted him. Okay, there you go. Oh, shoot. Sure took it off auto, but that's fine. I think we'll be fine. Round five's not quite that bad. This one we should be having no troubles really getting in auto. I mean, we can hold back a bit. Just get his next one time. Should eliminate the dragon. Bye bye. Okay, there we go. Shoot. Okay, God, he's almost full charge, so. Oh shoot, Galahad got stunned. Dang it. That's really bad. Shoot, we messed up on the last round. We might time out here. Galad, you can do it. Come on, Galahad, you gotta wake up. Oh, 
All right, come on. No, we are gonna time out. No! I'm so mad. <gasps> oh wow, that might get us out of here. Quickly, God, quickly, God, ult, ult. Oh, we did it! Holy heck. Wow, that was clutch. Okay, we gotta time this one because that tree has like a whole lot of life. But this one's a lot easier so long as we time it. See, look at that damage on that tree. <clears throat> oh wow. Help us. I should add on auto there. Oops. Okay, and then the next one we will time. Oh, actually, probably could have left it on auto. Bye bye, tree. Guess we gotta pop Albus here. Alright. Have Albus finish that one. Bye-bye. Okay, I think I can probably finish this. Okay, we'll have Albus finish off the fairy. And let Galahad just kill this one with basic damage. And then we'll have our ults for the next round. Hopefully. And if not, we can always... There you go, I'm like, he's close to death, like, come on. One point five million damage. Uh, super important to note that on these things, the, the branches are not maxed out. So the, on my main account, Galahad stronger because my tank branch is almost maxed out. On this account, my tank branch is only like level 18 or something, 17, something like that. So he's not as powerful as he is on my main account, so this is a bit harder. So I have to be timing more critical. Okay, we'll try to save his next ult here. Because, uh gonna be pretty tough. Come on, Galad. Hold, 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 hold. Nope. 
Those mind controls screwing me up. Try to time it, maybe. Ah, I just gotta pop it. We're running out of time. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that wouldn't have been, like, overkill. Should have <laughs> didn't quick off auto fast enough because he killed, like, the whole team. Got a whole lot of stuff. Okay, now this is the final round. This is where it gets real. And we really gotta maximize damage here. I don't think there's like any stuns or anything like super annoying, so I think we have time to do Alba's first ult here. We cannot miss damage here. We gotta do every bit of damage. Like every Galad ult has to be paired with Alba's, every last one of them. Because that dragon has over 3 million health. And the other enemies also have quite a bit of health. They're also quite tanky. Like I said, that guy has more health than the dragon does now. So let's make sure... Next Galahad ult comes after Alba starts charging. Bye-bye, dragon. Alright. Alright. I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna get the 50 points. I think we can just auto for the win. Galahad might not get another ult, so we kind of just need Alvis to burn. So this is Alvis' last ult here. Shoot. Okay, Galahad, come on. Galahad, come on. But we timed out. Gosh dang it. We didn't quite get the last win. <sighs> didn't quite get the last win. We do get the 50 points because there's a bug. I have reported it, but it is what it is. We're just gonna... All right, let's just push through all these. Is that 250? Yep, that's 250. Nope, didn't get another coin. Ranking reward, 240 emeralds. Boom. All right. I think that's gonna do it on this episode. Um, we can look at our particles, but, uh, I have to think about which pet I want to do next, so. It's probably Albus. 
do Albus. Um, we could do Merlin, Oliver, Axel. Biscuit, like anyone but Fenris. Fenris, obviously, the lowest priority. But uh, you can make a case for pretty much any of these, so we'll have to think about it. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Come back for again next time. We'll see you again soon.